In this video, we're going over the top five problems on this second generation Chevy Avalanche. Number one, the throttle body. The throttle body is located right here underneath this cover and this is what allows more or less airflow into the engine. There's an electronic motor attached to it with sensors in there. The problem with this throttle body is those sensors fail and then you end up with a engine reduced power mode, light on your dash, or also a check engine light. The code you're gonna get is a P2135 and when you get this code, cleaning the throttle body isn't gonna fix the problem. It has to do with those sensors. It's always a good idea to check the wiring and the connector. Those could also cause the same issue, but most of the time it's just the throttle body and it's gotta be replaced. Number two, the EVAP system. Like most GM vehicles, they have EVAP problems. You always want to start with the gas cap. Check to make sure it's not loose and make sure it's not cracking. Part of the EVAP system that can also give you trouble is the EVAP purge valve. And that's located right here behind the alternator under that cap. And last with the EVAP system is the vent valve. It's located right there above the spare tire. Those three parts are the most common repairs for that issue. Always check with the gas cap first though. Number three, the AFM lifters, also known as the active fuel management lifters. The active fuel management system in this vehicle shuts the cylinders down while you're going down the road so that it goes into four cylinder mode. Normally it's in eight cylinder mode. When it shuts those cylinders down, it collapses the lifters. Well, sometimes those lifters get stuck and they don't come back. The lifters are an internal engine component and when those lifters fail and they get stuck closed, the valves are gonna be closed, you're gonna get a check engine light, the engine's gonna run rough and you're gonna have a misfire. Number four, the outside door handles. Now the outside door handle is located right here and this vehicle happens to have outside door handles on all four doors. The area of the door handle that actually breaks is near the pivot area. So when you're opening the door, you wanna make sure you're opening it from this side. Um, the plastic that's in this location where it's fastened to the door is actually pretty weak, so they can break, so just be careful. So that's a problem that's pretty common. Also the inside door handles as well. Number five, the plastic trim. Just like the original Chevy Avalanche, any of the plastic trim fades. There's many ways you can fix this between using a heat gun, trim restore, even peanut butter. And we actually did a video on this, so check that out in the description. This problem happens on a lot of vehicles. Luckily with this Avalanche, it's not like the original one where there's cladding all over the side. So it's just this area you gotta worry about. So there's our top five problems for this Chevy Avalanche. Overall, these are really great cars. I actually used to own one. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to this channel, ring the bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our videos.